got two cases that are attempting to go all the way to the Supreme Court that if they succeed, uh, will say that our U.S. Constitution demands every state uh, recognize homosexual and lesbian marriages. So there's a huge war going on right now over that. So those are some of the updates of some of the things I warned you was coming, and unfortunately, you know, is coming and is happening. Uh, so that's some bad news. But let me tell you the good news. Uh, the good news is that uh, when people actually show up on the other side, um, that actually things change. And so I think all these things we're seeing can be changed if people are willing to, to just show up. And we saw that example in Texas. Um, I think I told you last year about the fight we had over evolution. Um, we had, uh, for 20 years in Texas, we had this, this regulation that said in our schools, when you teach the strengths and weaknesses, when you teach a theory, a scientific theory, you teach the strengths and weaknesses of all theories. And a very liberal group in Austin said, we don't like that idea because that means you're going to teach the weaknesses of evolution. So they actually tried to repeal the teaching of strengths and weaknesses of all scientific theories. And we thought that's the craziest thing we've ever heard. And we thought, you know, the state board is 15 people and it's 10 Republicans and 5 Democrats. And I just don't think this kind of crazy thing would ever pass. And to our shock, there was an 8-7 vote the wrong way. Yes, repeal the teaching of the strengths and weaknesses. And uh, people were shocked. And so we shot out on our alerts to all the churches and everywhere else. You need to know what's happening. And you need to call your state board member. And it was amazing. Within like a 24-hour period, the vote went from 8-7 one way to 13-2 to two the right way. And one of those members was standing surrounded by these liberals who were infuriated with them. And our director of legislative affairs was standing close enough to hear every word. And she said, you don't understand the pressure I'm under. My voicemail is full. My email is full. I have no choice. And to me, that's just a... If the people actually speak into the process, the people really are in control. Uh, it's just most people are kind of not involved at all. Can't even take the time to make a phone call or send an email. Uh, and that made a big difference. That battle made a big difference in what happened on the social studies textbooks. We had a huge battle on that. You might have seen, you might have, uh, there was Fox News covered it heavily and a lot of other people. Texas does textbooks, and they, what they do is they set the standards for the next 10 years. So we were setting the standards for social studies, which includes things like U.S. history. It includes the study of religious holidays and different things like that. And the first thing that caught our attention is when the experts, the review committee, uh, erased Christmas from the Christmas holiday, from the uh, religious holidays, and replaced it with Diwali. Which is a, it's a Hindu holiday. Uh, Rosh Hashanah and Christmas were out. The Wali was, in. and we thought, well, that's not going to go too, too favorable, too favorably with the public if they know. And we found out there's a lot more that uh, the part about the religious basis for why the founders came to this country, they deleted that. Uh, the part about well, people like Columbus, um, uh, Albert Einstein. Uh, Thomas Edison, um, uh, Veterans Day, all these things were taken out. So we, we didn't have room for the greatest inventor in the history of America, Thomas Edison, but we did have room for Mary Kay and for famous Amos Cookies guy. Um, and what was happening is some people felt like we had too many white males you know, in the book, and they were replacing them and taking them out. It's like, who cares what their sex or race or anything is? It's a matter of what they're displaying historically in this country. Um, and when people saw what was happening, and there was an attempt to not have any sort of American exceptionalism, the idea, you know, the, the more left-wing, they hate the idea. I was like confused at first when I looked at this. I was like, why would anybody be against that? Because they think that we should not be any different than anybody else. You know what? There are principles upon which this country was great, which makes it great. That's right. And if we don't teach our kids those principles, they'll never know. And and 
20 years from now when somebody's running for president and maybe as president is taking us away from our moorings, they'll never even know they're taking us away from our moorings. So and this is so important. And as a result, that's why there, this was such a huge battle. I mean, a real fight. And my favorite of all was the separation of church and state fight. Uh, the ACLU and Americans United for Separation of Church and State and the American Atheists were all screaming because they said, these standards don't have separation of church and state in them. And uh, we said, well, okay, let's put it in. And so one of the board members offered an amendment which passed, uh, I think, 13 to 2, maybe 12 to 3. Um, and what it said was, that every Texas student, every I mean, in high school, is they're now going to be required to compare the words "separation of church and state" with the actual words in the Constitution. Oh, they hated that idea. <laughs> they didn't like it at all. And I was like, "What kind of person is against kids reading the Constitution?" You know, they wanted to talk about things, but they didn't want them to actually look at what the founders said, what they were trying to do. Um, but that's now in there. I think it's a great thing that kids will be, okay, they're throwing around this term. What does the Constitution say? What do the founders really mean to protect? You know, and uh, I mean, it'll be, a, it'll put our kids on a huge track above other kids. And of course, the textbooks are meant, are, are made to go to these standards. And then the Texas textbooks are, are, we're such a large consumer that they tend to be used in over 40 states around the country. So this had a huge impact on the whole country. 